told you recently about Meghan Markle's true fear from her first husband, Trevor Engelson. Now, as you can understand, he's now carved a different life out for himself, and more importantly, a very successful life as well. Now, while Meghan may have thought, you know, as she stood at the top of the steps on St. George's Chapel on that wedding day all the way back in 2018, well, look at me now. Well, if you look at Trevor, he's doing incredibly well. But Meghan, of course, didn't stay around to enjoy the fruits of that, um, shall we say, union. Meeting Trevor in 2004, they got together fully in 2011. By 2013, she'd had enough and allegedly had posted her wedding ring, engagement ring, whatever, back to Trevor couldn't really cope with it anymore for whatever reasons. Nobody really knows exactly why that particular union broke down. You see, Meghan refuses to discuss it. She was given that option inside the Oprah Winfrey interview. But I was told by a very well-placed source, Meghan only wanted to talk about her life uh, within the royal family and how hard it had been. You know, the passport removal, not allowed to see friends, the usual claptrap that they like to come out with. Now, as we also pointed out, Trevor himself has been offered huge amounts to write his own book, but he simply doesn't need the money. But now the other issue is this, you see, if Meghan's circle of friends that she now no longer speaks to or is indeed in contact with, who were around the same time, well, guess what? Publishers are now circling those people to try and put together, whether it be one person or two, to put a book together. This truly must be very frightening for Meghan. So somebody would suggest, well, why would they be so keen to offer so much money? Well, very little is known about Meghan's life prior to that particular time, if you think about it. You see, the bottom line for Meghan Markle is this. Lots of people know her story from when she's decided to create it, reveal it or whatever. Even Prince Harry didn't know that much. And let's not forget, he's still yet to meet her father. But more importantly, this is a period where she was really climbing, trying her very best, suitcase girl and all, everything that she could to get famous. And those people that would invite her to that beachside wedding all of those years ago truly know. Now, having been cast aside, how much money publishers believe would it take before one, maybe two, even three, start to reveal their memories? So while she may have been concerned about, of course, the ex-husband Trevor, maybe she should be a little bit more concerned about those she left behind. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.